Okay, so when I'm getting ready to get this started, guys, we have our first challenge here, and this is the Sleepy Hollow Challenge. This medal is pretty cool, and you're going to see it by the end of this video. This only takes 18 miles to complete this first challenge. Let me first show you a couple things I got to kick this off here. I have a Fitbit. I bought some new shoes because I needed something soft on these feet. Look at these new balance i'm a true dad now <laughs> these are actually pretty dang cool they're called fresh foam more i have tried them on and they are super soft we have our pacer challenge here and it comes with this little card that says you can find them on facebook as well as the information you need to download the app and get started this is the back of the metal here you can see the lanyard how it says sleepy hollow but that's all you're gonna see for right now until i complete this challenge. Now you guys have seen the home theater here a million times if you watch Saturday Night Snack in a movie. I do have a couple of boxes of candy sitting around just for effect. I left these bags of chips up here just because they're more of a prop in here than anything. But I brought the giant family video M&M back out and I took all the candy out and I replaced it with DVDs. And of course the purpose of that is so that I don't have a million boxes of candy sitting there tempting me every time I come down here to watch a movie. With that said, I'm not going to be focusing 100 percent on being strict on any kind of a diet. I am going to watch what I eat, but what I'm focusing on is just completing these challenges. That's what's going to get me up and physically active and give me little goals that I can complete that are fun and spooky. Getting up and walking every day is the first priority. Having these fun challenges to complete will give me the motivation to do that. And the rewards aside from the awesome metal in this box will be that I'm getting healthier and losing weight. We are in the middle of winter. It is actually eight degrees outside right now. You can see we finally got some snow, but it is super cold and it's going to be for the next couple of months. So I bought one more thing to help complete these challenges, this ginormous Bowflex treadmill. This was supposed to be delivered and put in my office downstairs, but it's so huge they could not get it downstairs and around the corner. This thing was not cheap and it has a maximum weight of 400 pounds, which is good because in a minute, I'm gonna tell you how much I'm starting this challenge at. I love this thing. It is so heavy duty. It has so many things on here that will help with the workouts. Aside from the fact that you can watch Netflix or Prime if you want to, there are a lot of different programs you can choose to either walk straight or up and down hills. And this is the one that I like the best right here, Explore the World. We'll do a little bit of a preview here. And what this is, is that you can choose different areas to make it look like you're walking through these different areas, like Tibet, we got County Kerry here, whatever that is, Killarney, Ireland. Let's hit play here for a second and you can see, look at all these different places. You can set it and as you're walking, it looks like you're walking along those roads through the mountains. How cool is that? Okay, so let's get down to business here. We have our scale. It's a new you health meter. And for consistency, we are going to put this thing on the exact same square every time we do this. All right, so let's get this zeroed out, take off this hat, and see where we're starting. My weight today is 367.8. So this is the Pacer app. You can download it from Android or Apple. Open it up here, and if we go to the bottom on the left corner, you can see store. Open that up and it shows you all the challenges that are available. In this case, we are going to do one of the haunted adventures. Scroll through and the one that we are beginning with is Sleepy Hollow, 18 miles. Open that up. It gives you a little rundown of what this challenge is all about, how far it is. It shows you the metal that you're working for. It will show your progress along the virtual path. There are checkpoints that you get to as you do this. And in the end, you get a badge and a certificate that says you've completed this challenge. The way to start with this challenge after you've purchased it is you hit the word start. You can see that I've purchased it over here. It was $32.99. If you have not purchased it yet, you can go to Secured Checkout. If you have already purchased it like I have, you click on I have a registration code. They actually send you a code in your email that you can copy and paste right up at the top here. And once you do that, you are ready to start your challenge. Your phone works as both the GPS 
and a tracker. It shows your calories burned, your active time, your miles, and your step goal they just automatically have set on mine at 10,000 steps a day. But this number you can actually watch grow as you're taking steps. At the bottom of the screen it shows which challenge you're doing, which at any time you can click on that and it will take you to a roadmap of where you are at along your challenge. You can zoom in on that, you can go all the way down to Street View where you can look around and see exactly where you are at on on your route and as you reach each checkpoint it will unlock different parts of the story and this is what makes these challenges really fun the checkpoints are what really tells the story of Ichabod Crane and the legend of Sleepy Hollow starting with Washington Irving Sunnyside we've got Terrytown, Sleepy Hollow, Sleepy Hollow Cemetery, Rockefeller State Park Preserve and the end point which is the great jack-o-lantern blaze so I have less than one mile to go to complete this challenge. 18 miles in total, and I've walked just over 17 miles. All right, well that is complete. Now I gotta figure out how to get my certificate, and in just a minute, we're gonna open that medal. And now the moment of truth, we get to open the Sleepy Hollow Metal. All right, here we go, guys. The Legend of Sleepy Hollow challenge is complete, 18 miles, and here is the metal. Let's take it out of this bag. Oh, this thing is awesome. All right, so, wow. <laughs> so there's the lanyard I was telling you about. Um, it's upside down, but it says Sleepy Hollow on there. We've got the Headless Horseman rearing in front of the giant moon right there. This is what the metal looks like, the front of the metal. The Headless Horseman, look at that, he's got his jack-o-lantern. Adventure Challenge Finisher, 18 miles. And then if we turn it around and look at the back, it says Sleepy Hollow. It says the distance right there. Oh. <laughs> and this is actually a magnet here. now can slide up or down, take it off, and it looks like we have, oh yeah, look at that, how cool is that? It's a hologram of the Headless Horseman in Sleepy Hollow, how spooky is that? What an awesome metal, guys, right there. All right, I'm gonna put it on, and there we go. Got it around my neck right there. <laughs> All right, guys, make sure you stay tuned because our next challenge is coming up very soon. I'm actually gonna start it today. You're not gonna know what it is or what it looks like until the next episode comes out, which is gonna be in probably about two weeks. And at that time, we're actually gonna talk about weight loss as well. You guys saw what I started this challenge at. This was only 18 miles and it was over a course of about three weeks. I had a lot of dental work done and things like that. So I've had to eat a lot of soft foods. I really didn't lose much weight during this challenge, but the next one should be really, really good. So stay tuned. Sleepy Hollow challenge, I officially escaped the Headless Horseman.